hello today i'm here with a new video and if you don't know who i am my name is lisa i'm a cool youtuber that has almost had a year long no buy and today i'm going to do a tag that i've done the last two years and this is a tag made by my friend angelica Angelica Lirmar. i will leave her down in the description and this is my makeup year 2022 <laughs> will be now and i have done some changes to this tag so it will suit me better within my no buy i will of course leave angelica down in the description and the original questions and also the questions that i have done because i didn't feel like all of the questions did really like suit me because i haven't shopped any makeup this year and some of these questions are about things you have bought so I will just get started, but don't forget to check out Angelica. She is amazing with doing tags and she also is amazing. You should really follow her if you don't. But yeah, I think we just hop into this and this is 10 questions and yeah, let's just do this. So the first question is brands that I fall in love with this year and I have taken like brands I fall in love with more within my collection and really like realized that I do really love them. And this is a brand that I have loved for a long time but this year I have really understand how much I actually do love this brand and that is Nabla. If you didn't know that, if you are new here, Nabla has really been a favorite for me when it comes to both eyeshadows and as face products. I do love their highlighters, I love their blushes, I love their liquid lipsticks and I have like really realized this year how much I do really love Nabla. Like I don't, I think the thing I have from Nabla that I like the least is the concealer maybe some of the cuter palettes but all the other things I do really really love. I do have the Skin Realist. This is a little, little bit too dark for me. If I use it with a sponge and taking just a little it works. Um, but this I love. I all, almost all the time when I do a makeup use the Ozone highlighter and the ombra and one of the blushes and yeah i have just realized how much i do love nabla this year even though i have loved them before they have been one of my favorite brands but this year i have really like i think nabla is my absolute favorite makeup brand the second question is the brand that i did broke up with this year and this is a little bit hard like when i thought about this i didn't think that i would come to this answer but I think it's actually is Kaleidos. I Kaleidos has been one of my absolute favorite brands. Some of my absolute favorite palettes is from Kaleidos and I do really like their old lipstick. I don't like the new ones that much like the clay ones but I haven't used Kaleidos as much as I thought I was going to do this year and I haven't been that excited for new releases and it feels like they're just going in a direction that I don't like. They are doing quads now and that is not my favorite and I don't think they have been any fun the quads that they have released and I have actually not been sad that I have been on no buy this year even though Kaleidos has released some eyeshadow palettes, some lips, some pens, some face products. I actually is not sad about that and that has surprised me a lot but maybe my time with Kaleidos is maybe over or is on a break. I don't know. But if I look back like to the Futurism palettes, I did really really love them and the Club Nebula and the Escape Pod I do really like and I do really like the Flower Punk as well. But somewhere along the way with like Flower Punk I was like, I don't think that this is my absolute favorite brand when it comes to eyeshadows anymore. And that has surprised me a lot. I do I do still think it's a good brand, but it's not the Kaleidos that I did love and know a couple of years back. So 
Yeah, I guess me and Kaleidos maybe have broken up this year. Not completely, but maybe we are taking a little bit of a break. Question number three. Make a product that I was happy I bought before my no buy. And I am actually going to say these three lip glosses from LH Cosmetics. Lip glosses have never been my thing. Like this has been my thing for I don't know how many years. Matte liquid lipsticks. But I did buy these. I bought one I think in the summer last year and the other two a little bit later last year. And I do really, really, really love them. I love this one the most. I think you can see it. This is Mellow Mauve. I also have Pastel Peach. Pestle Peach and Dusty Rose. These are the best lip glosses I've ever tried. Disclaimer, I haven't tried that many lip glosses because lip gloss has never been my thing. But um, these are so amazing. They are not like too sticky and they go into the lip a little bit and just feels super, super good. And they do have SPF 15, I think it is. Yeah. And I just think these are really, really good. And I can really recommend them if you do want to try a lip gloss, but you don't like lip glosses. I know that that might sound like a strange thing. Like, you don't want a lip gloss, but try these. But from a person that didn't like lip glosses like at all before, I do love these. And I'm so happy that I bought them before I was going on my no buy. Question number four is products that I wish I could have bought this year and I'm going to Nagano on this palette. I have done a lot of videos. No, not a lot. But I have a video like things I would have bought if I wasn't on a no buy. But I really wish that I bought the Hello Bean palette, which I am buying next year. I also really wish that I bought the Gila palette from Odin's Eye and Daniel Ganique Face because I've tried one normal palette from Odin's Eye and one collab palette, the Giant Wolves, and I did I do love the Giant Wolves. I think that the formula in that is amazing. So it feels like they have different formulas when it is a collab palette and when it's their normal range. But yeah, I really wish that I bought the Gila palette. And the newest thing that I really wish that I could have bought is Nabla's new bullet lipsticks. Like, Nabla, why? Why are you doing this? I think that is going to be a thing that I will buy next year. If I'm going to be honest. Um, I think they look really amazing. And I do love Nabla's liquid lipsticks that I have. And I think that I would love their bullet lipsticks as well. So these three things I wish that I have bought. I can buy the Halloween palette. And I can buy a Nabla lipstick next year. The Gila palette. I cannot, it's discontinued, but I think that I would have really, I think I would have bought it and I wish that I could have, but it's gone. I don't have FOMO, I just know that I think I would have liked it and I think it would have been great in my collection. Question number five, product I think I would have buy because of the hype, but that I d don't think that I would have liked. Is that like... Formulating questions because this I did try to redo. So yeah, a product that I think I would have bought because of the hype, but then would ending up not liking it. And I actually think it would have been the quads from Kaleidos, the first one. They released two quads and blushes, if I'm not mistaken. I think I would have bought them because they were hyped, as Kaleidos like almost always is. But I actually don't think that I would have liked them. I don't think I would have thought them was so fun. And I do think that I love my blushes from Nabla so much that no other blush can be important to me. So yeah, I think it would have been that collection, collection because I think I would have bought it all. Was it two quads, a vault with lipsticks and two blushes maybe. I think I would have bought it. I think I would have liked it but not loved it and I don't think it would have been something that I would have used. But they released in March I think and I think I, I thought it was like a little bit annoying but yeah 
I guess I'm happy now that I have been on this Nobuy and didn't buy it because I, I don't think that I would have used it that much. Question number six. A product that I bought because of the hype and that was worth the hype. And this palette, I haven't seen like that much. I don't know if it has been super hyped, but to my defense, keeping up in the makeup world this year hasn't been a prioritized has has not I have not prioritized it because no buy um but then kind of new but can something be new from Colourpop I don't know but the CP3O 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 I have CP3O palette from Colourpop goldish palette I don't like gold jewelry that much. I have a gold ring on me. Um, it's my grandma's old ring. That's because why I have it. Um, gold isn't like... I do love orange. I do love red. I do love yellow. I do love warm shades. But gold has never been like super amazing. But I think this year I've started like gold more. And I really, really do think that I would have loved that palette. I think I would have bought it because peop I have seen people really liking it and I think I would have bought it and I think I would have liked it because gold is a thing that I've started to like this year. At least in eyeshadows. Maybe I always loved gold a little bit, but yeah, I really think that I would have really been liking that palette. Even though, not because it is a Star Wars palette, because Star Wars and me I've seen the Star Wars movie, but I'm not a Star Wars person. But yeah, I really think that I would have liked that palette. Question number seven is brands that I've used more than I thought I was going to. And even though this is a brand that I do really like, I didn't think that I would use it that much. And that is Shroud. I have been using... At least Arcana and it's freaking bats quite a lot and I didn't thought that I, even though I love Arcana I think it's somewhat a hard palette to do super many different looks with but I've been really enjoying it this year so Shroud has definitely been a brand that I've used more and also now on the latest Colourpop I did a Colourpop week like my forgotten Colourpop week and it was so fun like I do miss to use my Colourpop palettes and I don't know what has happened there. Colourpop. I don't know if I really ever have loved Colourpop. Like loved, loved Colourpop. But now I think it's been so fun to use my Colourpop palettes. And I do want to use more of my Colourpop palettes. And I don't know what's happening. Because I have never been this with Colourpop I think. I think I've just used Colourpop because everybody else used Colourpop. So yeah. Shroud and Colourpop I think is brands that I've used so much more than I thought I was going to. And question number eight, brands I thought I would have used more. Um, and here I thought I would have used Kaleidos more. I haven't. And also Ace Beauté. I don't know. I always say that I really like Ace Beauté. And I do. Some of their palettes I do really, really love. Some of the palettes that I don't like that much. But I have the Nostalgia palette that I used once. Like over a year ago. And I thought like I'm going to use the Ace Beauté palettes so much this year. But it hasn't happened and I haven't been like drawn to using my Ace Beauté palettes. Which feels a little bit odd maybe. So I did really thought that I was going to use my Ace Beauté more. More. <laughs> Especially the Nostalgia palette. But I haven't. And I don't know why. Question number nine. One thing I don't want to see in 2023. And I am so sick and tired of all this fiction collapse. I know that I said that I wanted the cp 3 o palette from Colourpop. But other than that. Like I don't know how many Barbie collection has come out this year. And like Scooby-Doo. And the Muppets. And... Nightmare Before Christmas and Powerpuff. I don't know. Why is this happening? Because I... I don't think... Even though, like, I do love The Nightmare Before Christmas. 
I don't know if I want it on my palette. If I'm going to be honest, I did love the Powerpuff Girls when I was a child. I still think it's kind of fun. <laughs> but uh, I did have the Powerpuff Girl palette from Colourpop. I'm decluttering it. I have decluttered it. So I just want, don't want to see any more collabs with fiction figures. Like, I don't know. I don't know what has happened. I wasn't on the train. I like I think it can be fun like like Scooby Doo if you did love Scooby Doo. I did watch Scooby Doo when I was younger, but it's not that I love it that much that I want it on a palette. I don't know what. Okay, I bought the Beetle Use palette from Melt because I do love Beetle Use, but I don't know if there's anything that I love that much to watch. Like, one of my favorite TV shows ever is Breaking Bad. Do I want a Breaking Bad palette for that? No. A palette maybe that is inspired by Breaking Bad. Maybe like blue, green and yellow. Yeah, maybe. Does it have to say Breaking Bad? No. Uh, so that I don't want to see more of next year. I really don't. Just stop it. And I also think that it can be like bad because like I don't like Barbie. I have never played with Barbie dolls, so I would never buy a Barbie collection. And maybe I miss out something good then, but I don't want Barbie in my collection because yeah, I don't like Barbie. I have never done it. So yeah, I, I want that to stop. Question number 10. <laughs> One thing that I want to see more of 2023. And I don't know how to describe this, so you will understand what I'm saying. I would want more like monochromatic palettes that is not monochromatic. For example, this is not a good example. <laughs> I used this palette today. This is kind of monochromatic, but not completely monochromatic. I do want this more like palettes that is easier to do looks with than just palettes that has colors to be fun. I I'm not into like, maybe I have never been like crazy colorful BAM looks, but I would want to see more, not monochromatic is maybe the wrong word, but like more cohesive color stories, like not crazy to any side, not a lot of pop of colors more palettes that is easy to look at and like yeah here I have four perfect looks that is something that I do really love in palettes and that is something that I want to see more of and I think it's easier to do to, to use the palettes and I can't be the only one so that I would really love to see more of next year palettes that are more cohesive they don't have to be monochromatic but I also want them to be but I want them to be more like easy to spot some looks with I hope that you really get what I mean and I hope that some of you do agree with me I don't feel like we are back to the super like rainbow palettes and stuff like that but it's things it feels like we are going there again like the more color the better it doesn't have to be a rainbow but like the more colors the crazier look you can do the better I don't want that. I want more like cohesive, not monochromatic, but more to the monochromatic way. I guess that this is a good example, the Club Nebula palette. This is not a boring palette, but it has like three finished looks. And it's easy. You don't have to think about if you want to use a palette like this, you don't have to think about it too much. It is just so, so simple just to use it. I don't know if I can find an example uh, in a palette that I do have that don't have the thing that I don't like. But I do really hope that you get what I mean. You know a palette that you can look at and feel like, what am I going to do? Like you really have to concentrate to coming up with a look because it's just a lot of fun colors in it. I don't. I don't want to see that. I want to see more cohesive Maybe that is because I'm older, <laughs> I don't know, or I'm just finding my style, maybe. We can say it like, I'm just finding my style, that feels better. 
so yeah that was all for this video and don't forget to check out Angelica and I will leave the original tag down in the description and also the questions that I've redone to make them fit my no buy better and yeah I do really hope that you like this don't forget to check out Angelica I've already said this so yeah if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope that I'll see you in the next one bye